Did you grow up in Groves or Fort Natchez? Both. You did? Uh, yeah, I grew up in, uh, uh, first year I was, uh, came down, I was only in Port Natchez Groves two years. First year I, we were in Groves, and then the second year we moved to Port Natchez. So I, I, I am Port Natchez Groves. <laughs> this is now this is getting really down in the weeds. But do you remember your the houses you grew up in on those? Do you remember those addresses? Were you too young to remember? No, I was a, I was a junior and senior in high school, so uh, uh, I don't remember the exact address of both of them. But the we lived on uh, Jackson Street and in, in Groves, and we lived on Merriman Street, uh, same street the high school is on, in Port Natchez. So uh, you know, at one point the Beaumont mayor declared. Beaumont, Port Arthur, the capital of NFL and all that. And uh, I'm wondering if you could just talk about those times and just what that brand of football was like and, and how it bred so many great players. Yeah, this area uh, uh, has, has had so many great football players, uh, athletes, not just football players, but all, all kinds of athletes, golfers, uh, basketball, baseball. I mean, it's, it's had them all, but there's been a lot of great ones. And uh, at one time, I believe uh, uh, Beaumont had the most uh, athletes in, in uh, pro football uh, from size-wise, uh, percentage-wise. Right, they said twice as many, actually, yeah. 16. That's yeah. the next closest uh, area. Yeah, 16, and the next closest was maybe eight. So yeah. they uh, had a lot of great athletes come, come from out. I wasn't one of the great athletes, but <laughs> hopefully one of the better coaches. Yes, sir. Um, did you ever play against or with uh, uh, against Bubba Smith, or was he back on the Houston team when you were there? Actually, uh, um, I played against Toadie Smith when I was at the University of Houston, and then I coached Bubba uh, my first year in the NFL. Uh, I coached Bubba Smith uh, when he was with the Oilers, so that was pretty neat. Can you talk about how, uh, what kind of a player he was in person? Bubba Smith was. Uh, uh, he was huge for one thing. I mean, he was he was six seven, all of six seven, and and uh, uh, really a great athlete for his size. Uh, you know, he played a long time when when I when I got to coach him, but uh, but he still had a lot of skills left, and uh, he was he was a dominant player. Uh, and his dad uh, coached a long time uh, uh, a long time down there, and my dad recruited that area. Uh, and he would go in to talk to him about players, and he said uh, 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 Bubba Smith's dad told him where to go. So if he liked the if he liked the recruiter, he'd say, "You go here, you go there, you go there." And of course, some great athletes came from uh, that area in his school. Any other players come to mind that uh, you, you played maybe in high school or that, that made it in the pros? Uh, well, Joe Washington, I coached against. Uh, and when I was at Orange, uh, Orange Stark, and we played against Joe Washington, and our claim to fame was he didn't, uh, he didn't score a touchdown rushing against us. Now, there was one play where he's running with the ball and he ran backwards and backwards and backwards, and then everybody was right there with him, and he threw the ball to a guy that was standing down the field just watching it, and he, so he threw a touchdown pass in the game against us. And, uh, if he wouldn't have broken his leg, which he did in the semifinal game, they would have won the state championship at Lincoln that year. Uh, they had a great football team. Uh, they did beat us at Orange. Um, so um, what was it like uh, being at the University of Houston with your dad or, or just, I guess, maybe watching him go from high school to, 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 to college and then you kind of following with him along the way? That must have been exciting times. Yeah, uh, you know, my dad was a head coach at UTEP. It was Texas Western at the time. Uh, then came to Port Natchez my junior year in high school. And so I played for my dad junior and senior year. And uh, then he went to University of Houston and he said, uh, you, can, you can talk to these other schools because I, I talked to Alabama and, and uh, Texas A&M and some places. He says, you can talk to them, but you're going with me to University of Houston. So I went to University of Houston. And of course, he was there two years and then left and uh, went on from there. Where did he go from? San Diego Chargers. Yeah, he went to San Diego from the U of H. Um, actually, uh, I believe Frank Brawls and Daryl Royal, uh, uh, San Diego, Sid Gilman was the head coach. He called Frank, Frank Brawls and, uh, and, and Daryl Royal and 
ask them who was the best defensive line. He needed a defensive line coach. They both said the same guy, which is my dad, and uh, said they ended up hiring him out there. Yeah, Brawls came to Arkansas my dad's last year. Right. Yeah. Um, and then Jimmy Johnson and Jerry Jones all came about a year later. Right. Uh, so let's talk then from going from college to pros. Uh, I mean, getting the head coaching job at, at, uh, at with the Oilers, uh, and, and you were by then were already were you already coaching with them at that point? Or? No, I was coaching at uh, I was coaching in college. I was at uh, Oklahoma State when he got the uh, head coaching job, and then the next year I was at Kansas, and, and then he hired me from there uh, uh, with the Oilers. Those years were very exciting for a lot of people around here. If, uh, if it hadn't been for y'all going up against, you know, yeah, if it wasn't if it wasn't for Pittsburgh winning four out of six Super Bowls, we we would, yeah. But we had them in our division. But uh, we uh, we had some great football teams, and and the, the city of Houston just got behind those teams, uh, partly because they were family oriented. You know that the whole. And the whole era was a Western era where my dad certainly fit in that area uh, because he was a real rancher, a real cowboy. And, uh, and they took to it and kind of the Love You Blue era. Uh, actually still lives on today and we're still having re reunions with those teams uh, because of, of the excitement what they had with them. Your dad had Earl Campbell. You've often had a great defensive player some, usually one of the, the one or two best defensive players in the league at the time. Uh, how, how are y'all, the two of you, able to? Is it, I know it's not just luck, but I mean, how are y'all able to bring out good, talented play, players like that? Uh, you know, I don't know if you do that. I, I always said, you know, I got to coach, coach Curly Culp, who is in the Hall of Fame, and then Elvin Bethay, the defensive lineman, is in the Hall of Fame, and then Robert Brazil, who just went into the Hall of Fame. I was coaching all of those guys, and I was 27, 28 years old. I thought I was a heck of a coach because everything you tell them to do, they could do it. So I'm not sure I helped them, but but uh, they were great players, and and I was glad to see them get the honor of being in the Hall of Fame because they deserved. They were really great football players, and uh, and hard workers. But they did do what you asked them to do, you know. And that's um, you know, hopefully coaching helps you some, and that's why I wouldn't be in it if I didn't think coaching helped. So I, I, we helped him some. Uh, can we talk a little bit about finally winning a Super Bowl and what that felt like? Yeah, uh, the the uh, actually the first time I went to Denver, uh, uh, I was at Philadelphia and I went to Denver and uh, as a defensive coordinator and we went to the Super Bowl, but we got beat by the 49ers uh, that year. And then the next time I ended up going to the Super Bowl. It was back at Denver again. I came from the Texans and went to uh, Denver, and uh, we won the Super Bowl 50, which, uh, which is, uh, we really had one of the great defenses, I think, of all time, but uh, people talk about them, I think, for a long, a long time because uh, we, beat, we beat Roethlisberger, Brady, and then Cam Newton, who was the MVP of the league that year. We beat all three teams and didn't let them score uh, very many points, and uh, of course, Von Miller was the, the Super Bowl MVP and scored a touchdown on defense and got a fumble on the four-yard line. So uh, th th that was a great experience. And, and those, you know, those kind of teams, along with the Oilers, like the Oilers, that team will always be together. I mean, their reunions or whatever, you know, if they had such a great accomplishment that it'll be great to see those guys whenever it is. And then you made it again with the Rams. Yeah, yeah. Two years ago, we went with the Rams. Uh, we actually held Brady to 13 points, which was less than what we did at Denver, but but we only scored three. So, but we uh, we had a great year and uh, and really a really good Super Bowl, except for the final score. We want to talk a little bit about your kids' accomplishments, and um, you know, I know they're both very accomplished. And oh, my kids? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, my son Wes coaches for the Rams. He coached with me with the Cowboys. Uh, uh, he's, he's uh, you know, I'm a dad, but, you know, he's a third generation. You know, there's only the Shulas and the Phillipses are only th three generation NFL coaches. You know, uh, Don Shula, his sons, and, and, uh, and their grandson. 
and now my dad, me, and my son are. So those are the only two families that have three generations of NFL coaches. So we're proud of that. And then uh, Tracy, our daughter, was a, a, a really a good, I say athlete, but she's a dancer and uh, uh, did uh, way too many MTV videos that I had to watch. But uh, she was good. She was really good at that. And now she's a choreographer in L.A. and been out in L.A. a long time and, and uh, doing some, still doing great things out there. So... Uh, and we have three grandkids. Wes has three grandkids that uh, now we just love. They're the best. Uh, they're, if we wish we would have had them first. Because <laughs> you can give them everything you want, everything they want, and, and there's no discipline. So you don't have discipline. Uh, I, need a, I would like a, something about your dad that you could tell us, you know, just what made him a, a great guy, a great coach, uh, just if people were to kind of not know a lot about him and punch on that video. Yeah, my dad was... Uh, well, first he let everybody call him Bum, which, you know, that's hard to do, I would think, you know. Uh, but that was his nickname, and they called him Bum. And he wanted you to call him Bum. Uh, I mean, all the players called him Bum. They didn't call him po Coach Phillips. Uh, he, wanted him, uh, he wanted everything to be personal, not, you know, and, uh, because he wanted it that way. And uh, really good-hearted person. I look forward to every day. Uh, just, uh, you know, it, it, everybody liked him. <laughs> you know, he's one of those people that everybody liked. And, uh, uh, and he, he liked everybody. He enjoyed life so much that uh, I think that rubbed off on everybody around him.